junior now, you've been through the wars, uh, what changes when conference play hits? Well, the intensity level steps up. Everyone on the team is much more motivated and it's, it's time to play. Uh, you got a chance to uh, help contribute to Jordan Pollock's game winner at Miami on Sunday. You've also scored a game winner in overtime during your career at Nebraska last year. Um, we've had some players talk about that it's more gratifying setting up a, a game winner, a goal in general, than it is scoring yourself. Can you kind of compare and contrast the two situations? Definitely. Um, well, in Miami, Ohio, uh, Hadley did a great job holding the ball up top, so it kind of sucked in all their defenders to the top of the box, and she was able to get off a little pass to me out wide, and I saw Jordan Pollock wide open on the outside flank, plank, and uh, played it to her, and she just one-timed it right into the goal. Is it uh, quite unlike anything else when you win an overtime game on an opponent's home field and you get to celebrate and the action stops like that? Is it? it can you describe that atmosphere? No, it's an amazing feeling. We all dogpiled on Jordan Pollock. It was a great time. <laughs> Nice to be going into conference play with a uh, momentum shot in the arm from an overtime win against a good opponent in Miami on Sunday. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a challenging game, you know, to go behind three straight times and uh, have to peg your way back and then find your way um, to win in overtime, even uh, though they hit the crossbar twice. It's, I mean, it was a back and forth game. It was an exciting match. I think the fans that were there um, really got their money's worth. Um, at the same time, it uh, certainly could lead to cardiac arrest for you know the coaches involved. Uh, but overall, I thought our I thought our dynamic uh, our attack was dynamic. Uh, certainly, I thought we uh, persevered. And over the course of the second half, we really created a lot of great chances and did a good job. But we had to adapt to what uh, Miami was trying to do. They were they were definitely an organized side, uh, athletic, um, deep, and dangerous. And uh, you know, I think their their struggle is that uh, you know they're giving up too many points. We found ourselves in that position last year. Um, so, but uh, to fight our way back, it was certainly I think a. Uh, um, an inspiring win. I think it, it certainly gave the girls some confidence heading into the match with Wisconsin, um, which you know will give us more of the same. They're, they're athletic front to back. They've got a couple really talented uh, difference makers on the field, and uh, they're always organized. Paula always puts out a very organized, hardworking team. I believe it's also like the fourth time in the last seven years that you open conference play against Wisconsin. Obviously, that's just kind of a quirk in the schedule. But uh, as you said, you kind of know what to expect from them, and they've had some very good road results this year. Yeah, you know, I think uh, their only, uh, I think, real um, tumble was uh, the game against Vanderbilt. And uh, so certainly, you know, what we're going to work on this week is me knowing, you know, I shared with the girls through the way uh, Wisconsin had been playing. But at the same time, we really have to focus on being ourselves and uh, doing that to the best of our ability. And certainly with, you know, our home field, it allows us to do some of the things offensively that we like to do, and that's what we're going to work on this week focus on this week. See, well, you've got a chance to start. You've come off the bench at certain points in your career, but you've been through, you know, like we talked about, the wars the last couple of years. Are there a couple of areas of your game like you feel like you've grown the most? Um, more so this year. I feel more just relaxed when I'm out there. It, it's I get the ball. I look for people's feet and just work hard. Seemed like you made some changes kind of on the fly Sunday at Miami, and, and the players responded, uh, most notably with Jordan Pollock contributing offensively after moving up top. Yeah, you know, I think uh, they were the, they were dictated by uh, the way Miami was playing. They forced us into making some changes, and, uh, you know, it was, um, you know, strangely enough, it was the very same forward line that we played with all of last year, you know, with Pollock, Harrison, and uh, Hadley Stewart, and uh, so certainly they, they fell right back into what was – you know, fairly simple for them. I think the major difference was, you know, Molly Kiermoto being able to join Taylor Newoit as the attacking mid, so we kind of have a yin and a yang there, a big battler, ball winner, and a dribbler. Um, and so, you know, we saw some good things happen, and, you know, once again, we got some good performances from uh, some young players, you know, Mikhail Alaski going, you know, the full time as well there. and. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's, that's part of the game is, you know, sometimes things change, whether it be through an injury or the way someone's playing or, some, you know, an issue that you're having difficulty solving someone. And uh, to have mature players and some players with some really good experience that can make changes on the fly is really important for a side.
You know what, we're try we try to put the best 11 that we have on the field as long as possible, and I think what that probably means for Jordan Pollock is she's spending some time in the back and spending some time moving forward as well as when, when we need to rotate players off. And certainly, you know, Sunday, her playing forward was brought out of the necessity with the injury to uh, Maddie Williams as well, and we do have some depth mm -hmm. in the back where we felt confident with some people stepping in. But with the amount of running we ask our outside backs to do, I feel like it's essential that we've got two players that can play in each, both left and right back Mm -hmm. And uh, you mentioned earlier just about um, preparing your team, how Wisconsin plays. Um, I have a few, so uh, do you just want to expand on just kind of some of the traits of their style? Sure, you know, they've got, um, you know, uh, they play in a three front, they play in a 4-3-3 attacking wise, they play in a 4-2-3-1 when they defend, they drop their white forwards back into the midfield. Um, they've got a, a freshman, Rose Lavelle, who's um, really can uh, pull the strings. She, she's really a talented player, um, can open the game up, and uh, with Carol Walls, um, as one of their on their leading target type uh, forwards, and then Cody Williams plays out wide, and she's a, she's a pacey player. They've they've got a good athleticism up front, so you've got someone who can hold on to the ball long enough to let players make runs. So certainly we've got to be organized on our back line. We've got to drop and pinch when there's no pressure on the ball, taking away balls in behind.